All right guys, so I wanna share with you a really cool method today that I've used quite a bit in the past. I'm actually using it presently, um, but I basically wanna share with you how you can generate a lot of free traffic to your website or your blog that can translate into real sales. Now, I'm gonna share with you the ClickBank account that goes with this traffic and I'll kind of um, explain to you what's going on in the background. So. First off, what I wanna do is I wanna show you the AWS stats. This is right inside of your cPanel. So if you're using a, a control panel of some sort, you'll be able to look at this. I'm gonna blur out my domain so that I don't share my niche with you on this particular site, but I will share a niche with you, with you of another site that I had in the past that I can't use anymore. So I'm happy to share that one with you because I know you can't do anything with it now because it's no good, but um, I will share with you what it was. But you can see right here, this site is consistently doing well over 2,000 usually. Uh, January it didn't do over 2,000, but uh, ever since January, you know, 2,600, 2,463. Uh, um, April we're almost at 1,000 already, so we're on track to probably do around 2,000 as well. Um, but anyways, this is the traffic that we're generating. We're not spending any money, and the site is completely passive, meaning. I don't touch it. I set it up once and I've never touched it again. So I'm gonna share with you how we do that. But what I also wanna share with you is the ClickBank account that goes with this particular niche site. First off, forewarning, it's not like insane money or anything, but you'll see once I show you how to set this up, that the little bit of time that it takes to set these sites up, the fact that they run passively, you could go and you could basically duplicate these results like over and over and over again. So if I wanted to go out there and I wanted to create a bunch of these sites and get them earning this kind of money, then it would add up kind of substantially. But you can see here um, in my ClickBank account for this particular website, uh, we've got a $45 week, um, a $22 week and then a $45 week. So it's kind of hit or miss, kind of spotty. And um, that's because the traffic, you know, goes up and down, up and down. Um, I'll just add that up quickly. 45 plus 45 plus 22, that's $112. So, I mean, if you could get like 10 to 20 of these sites up working for you on autopilot, you know, that's okay money. It's not bad, especially since it's completely passive. And I mean, even if you focused on doing this, like maybe, um, you know, get a site up a week, once a week or something like that, you know, within a couple of months, you'd have a pretty good inventory of sites at your disposal that are bringing you in this passive income. So I'm going to skip the fancy intro on this video because quite frankly, I just don't feel like doing it and I don't have time, but I did want to get the video out to you because it's a killer video and a killer method. So we'll just kind of get right into it. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, do me a favor and drop below the video first and hit the subscribe button. And also if you comment on the video saying I subscribed, I will actually go back through the comments. I will read your comment. I'll reply back to you and welcome you to the channel because I'm so happy that you're here and I just like to do things differently on this YouTube channel by welcoming you and making you feel welcome. The other thing is, is if you're excited to see me break this method down, if you could smash the like button for me so that I know that you're ready for it, that would be great as well. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the actual method. All right, guys, so the very first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to select a niche that we want to enter. And I told you I would talk to you about a niche that I was in before that I can no longer use, and it was vines. So I created a site with the funniest vines, and basically I would monetize it with not just ClickBank, because ClickBank isn't the only thing you can monetize with, but I monetize with Google AdSense. I also got this other site monetized with AdSense too, but I didn't feel like going in and trying to split up the report to show it to you guys because I also have my YouTube um, revenue on there. So it'll be hard to show you an accurate reflection of what actually is from that site and what actually isn't. Um, but that's just kind of my laziness and not tracking well. But anyways, you can monetize with AdSense, you can monetize with Amazon Associates as well, and you can monetize with any other affiliate offer like on ClickBank. Um, so pick a niche and go after something that's very broad, very big. Um, it doesn't matter, like I went after Vines, I wasn't concerned about competition because quite frankly, we're gonna be putting out a ton of content, so we don't really care about the competition. The cool part about this too, is that this works anywhere in the world. So if you're in India, if you're in you know China, Bangladesh, the United States, UK, doesn't matter, Canada, anywhere, this will work globally. So it's a good method for you if you're interested in making money globally. All right, so if you're not sure of a niche to go into, check out Google Trends. They have different categories where you can basically filter down, like say, okay, I wanna look what's in the sci-fi tech, and you can kind of see what's trending. So God of War is trending right now, um, the new video game that came out. So maybe you wanna enter the gaming niche and you wanna 
talk about God of War. Another big gaming uh, thing that's out right now, right, is Fortnite. That's been huge too. So that might be a good one to go after. Now, I do recommend that if everyone goes out there and like copies my idea and goes with the gaming thing, then maybe we'll all be competing each other, against each other. Um, so try to get creative on your own, but I'm just going to roll with that right now because it's just the first thing I saw. But you could go in and you could find other things. Like there's just tons of stuff in here. You know, here's something about electric vehicles. So maybe you could do uh, a, a blog about electric vehicles or something like that. So I'm just trying to give you some ideas and you know, you'll want to think about what you can monetize with, but really with Amazon Associates, that's Amazon's affiliate program and AdSense, I mean, you can monetize pretty much anything with those. So it doesn't really even matter. Um, okay, so the next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to purchase hosting and a domain name. Um, I recommend Bluehost uh, for your hosting and I'll have a link in the description if you wanna go check out my hosting guide on how to set that up. I'm not gonna waste time in this video showing you how to set up hosting and a domain name. But I would recommend, you know, following that guide if you don't know how to do that, and it'll teach you how to set up your domain name, set up your host. But I'm going to just skip that and automatically go into my WordPress blog to show you how to get this set up just for the sake of time since I've already covered that in previous tutorials. The other thing is, is you can come up with a completely random domain name. It doesn't have to be like stuffed with keywords or anything like that. Quite frankly, it doesn't even matter. That site I showed you with the traffic stats was not stuffed with any keywords in the domain name. And again, it just doesn't matter. So if you're having trouble coming up with an idea, there's a, a thing called Impossibility. It's impossibility.org. It'll help you come up with a domain name. So say you're looking for a domain name that has gamer in it. You can just put in your word and it'll also put um, adjectives, verbs, or nouns either at the beginning or end of your word. Um, so you can kind of see it, it put in some ideas for me. Let's try verbs and see what comes up there. Um, I'm going to try the adjectives at the beginning. So you can see it came up with some different ones. Uh, iced Gamer, Even Gamer, Boxy Gamer, Scent Gamer, um, SureGamer.com. You know, something like that might work fine. And then you can go over to Bluehost and then you can register that domain that you found and set up your hosting and start building out your blog. All right, so one of the main components of making this method work on autopilot is we need to set up what's called an auto blog. And what auto blogs do is they pull content from things like RSS feeds and they pull in other people's content. And what it does is it leaves credit at the bottom so that you're not infringing on anyone's content because you're giving credit back to them. You're linking to the source of their article. News sites do this all the time. If you look on pretty much any news sites or press release sites, it's exactly what they do. They pull other people's content and then they link back to the source of it. It's exactly what auto blogs do. And that's how we generate this fresh content. And the way that this method works and how we get traffic is by consistently generating fresh content. Now, the plugin I'm gonna use in this video is WordPress automatic plugin um, that I found over on uh, Envato Market, and it's $25 for a regular license. There's some other alternatives though that are free. Um, I'm not endorsing them or saying that you should go and get this plugin, um, but it's just the one I'm using because I have it set up already. So that's the one I'm gonna use. But there are some free alternatives, uh, like Feed WordPress is a free alternative. Um, another alternative is WPRSS Aggregator. And I imagine the setup on any of these free alternatives are going to be pretty similar to what I'm doing with the other one. Okay, so you can see where our starting point is. I'm just starting with a blank generic WordPress installation. Um, I need to reload that. But as you saw, just a blank generic WordPress installation. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and log into our WordPress site. Okay, so we're inside of the site. Again, this is starting from scratch. So if you don't know how to get to this point, you should check out the hosting guide in the description below. Um, it'll be either the first or second link in the description, and it'll tell you how to get hosting set up, how to buy a domain name, how to install WordPress. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, install one of those plugins. So like I said, I already have the one so i'm going to install the one that i have the auto wordpress blog but you can always try one of those free ones if you want um, and the free ones you would just come up here and search for it so like here's wprss aggregator and uh, there's probably lots of other ones too just you know play around with it i'm going to upload the one i have we're going to install it and we're going to activate the plugin Okay, plugin is activated. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and we're going to come into WP Automatic and we're gonna go to new campaign and we're gonna set up a brand new campaign for our auto blog. So we'll just name this um, RSS feeds 
So you have different campaign types here. Uh, you can pull from easy articles, from YouTube, from Pinterest, Instagram, Reddit, or feeds. We're going to go and we're going to actually pull from feeds. So what you want to do is you want to head over to Google and you want to you just kind of like maybe search uh, whatever your topic is. So let me go head over to Google. Um, so since I'm in the gaming niche right now, I'm going to think of a new game that was released and one that was just released was God of War. So I'm going to try searching for God of War. And I want to particularly look at the news feed. I can either look at these top stories right here or I can come up to the news tab and I can look here. Um, now I want to find a site that only talks about games and Forbes would not be one of them. Forbes is going to talk about a lot of things like business, but I only want to look for uh, gaming blogs. So if I click here, I can see that there's this site called Game Rat. And if I look at their content, um, let's see, let's go and check out the homepage of their site. Uh, there's two God of War reviews, Pokemon review, Pokemon Go. Overwatch. So this site is all about gaming. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab the URL of the site and I'm going to come over here where it says feed to post from and I'm going to click it and I'm going to enter in the site that I just found. So I would do this a bunch of times so that I'm pulling from a bunch of different sites. But for now we'll just go with just one just to kind of speed up the tutorial. Okay, so maximum number of posts, and then the campaign will stop after reaching this limit. So this is up to you. I mean, ultimately, if you want to continue getting traffic, the idea is, is that you're going to continually post. And because you're always posting, you're always going to be getting new traffic in. Some of the posts are going to stick and people are going to see it, and some aren't. So it's kind of like a, a shotgun approach. You're just going to spray as much out. Some are going to stick, some aren't. So, you know, you can kind of set this infinitely to just keep running and running and running. Um, the update frequency up here, I would recommend setting this maybe to once a day. And depending on how many feeds you have in here, so if I put like four in here, then it would pull one from each one, unless I had it ticked to rotate the feeds. But we'll just leave it set to how it is. Um, okay, so that's good. We can decide to post content from the feed as is or auto detect full content. Um, there's just different options there. I'll just do auto detect full content. Then we have different uh, options here that we can do. Uh, extraction to a custom field, excerpt, or tag. Uh, we can strip HTML tags if we want. Um, we can set meta tags as WordPress tags. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Or we can also do this, extract original tags and set as tags using class ID. So I'll just go with the meta one because that one's probably going to be easier. Um, other than that, I think that we're good there. You have the option to change the post title if you want. But obviously, since we're always pulling in a different article, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use the original title. This is the important part here, though, of the auto blog, and that is that you give credit to where you pulled the content from so that you're not getting into any trouble. So down here, it says source link. This is going to put a link to wherever it pulled the content from for you automatically. So you don't even have to do anything, which is awesome. Okay, so you can create a bunch of categories in WordPress if you want, and they're located under um, posts and categories. So if you already know a specific campaign you're creating, it's going to go under a specific category. You could come in here and you could create the categories, and then you could select them here. I don't, however, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do keyword to category, and I'm going to categorize under some of the top games. So I'm going to come in here and see what some of the games are that they actually went and they created articles about. So I see Pokemon Go, Overwatch. So I'm going to go and add those in. And of course, God of War. So what's going to happen is it's going to automatically search through the article. And if it finds any of these keywords in the article, it will actually create a tag for that keyword. So let's see if we can find any other games on here. Uh, Fortnite, Final Fantasy. Okay, cool. So there we go. I think we are good to go. Uh, this option is automatically selected by default, which is set first image as featured image. And again, guys, you can come around, you can play with these settings. Like it's not going to make or break if you accidentally miss one. Um, I'm just kind of doing a very quick run through. Uh, feel free to like pause the video and go through as you're setting things up. Um, but now when we publish this campaign, 
it's going to run one time instantly and it's going to pull an article from the site and it's going to add it to our site. Um, so watch how this works. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit publish. Okay, and look, it said last run. It's got today's date. And it said last post none. All right, so let's look at the site and see if anything happened. Okay, so I don't know why it didn't show it, but it did actually pull um, an article. It did uh, Pokemon Go here. Um, so you can see it's actually got the full article in there, which is awesome, and it looks good, right? Um, it pulled it there. It's got the source link. Okay, cool. So that's good. Um, and since we're just starting the blog, we're probably going to want to fill it up with content. We don't just want one post on there. So I can come and manually run the campaign. So I'll go ahead and do that manually. So let's do it again. Okay, so this time it actually showed it and it showed uh, what, what one it put in there. So let's go and refresh and look at it. Okay, Monster Hunter. So it went and posted an article, had a YouTube video in it, and of course at the bottom, we've got the source link linking back to the article. All right, let's run a couple more. All right, cool. So I've gone and I've populated like five different articles in there. So you can see they're all in there on the home page. And now we need to just kind of design the site and make it look good because this right now just looks like a regular WordPress blog. So let's go and see if we can find a decent looking theme. I'm gonna come under appearance, I'm gonna to come to themes. And ideally, if we can find some type of news style theme, that's gonna look best for this type of site. So I'm gonna hit add new, and I'm gonna search under popular and see if there's anything in there. Okay, so I found this theme right here called color mag. And that looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and install that. I'm going to activate that. All right, let's uh, refresh to see what it looks like. We'll probably need to customize it a little bit. Okay, look at that. I mean, instantly, we took a site that had literally nothing on it. And within just a few minutes, I mean, look at it. We've got our own new site here, and it looks great already. So what we can do is we can get a logo designed. If you guys caught my other video, I've recently just got a logo designed from a site called Design Crowd. So this is Design Crowd. It's designcrowd.com. Um, highly recommend checking them out. The way it works is you post a contest for your site. So like I would say my site is called Game Trad and we're a blog dedicated to bringing people the latest video game news. And what you do is you give them that little brief and then a bunch of designers, hundreds of designers come and compete on your logo. And then you basically pick the best logo design and the winner is who wins it and then you get your logo. So here's the, the contest I just ran for a new company that I'm launching and you guys actually helped me pick this logo out too. That's the other really cool thing about Design Crowd. So you could run a poll and you can have you post on your Facebook or your Twitter or wherever and you can have people give their opinion on which one's the best. And everyone picked this one, most people did, as the best. Um, so this one is the one I selected for the winner of the contest but I got 177 designs. I mean, look at how many good choices there were out of all of these. So highly recommend Design Crowd um, because if, especially if you don't know really what you want, I mean, you can go through and you can pick the best one, which is awesome. So for a logo, that'd be a really good choice. And then that's gonna make your site look really professional. Okay, so I've got a logo that I quickly designed in Photoshop because obviously I'm doing this video, so I don't have time right now to wait for a design contest. Design contests take two to seven days, depending on how fast you wanna do it. But again, I wanna get this video done tonight, so I just came up with something quick in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload that and we'll see what it looks like. We'll skip cropping. And there we go. That looks better. So let's go ahead and publish that. Now we've got our logo there. Our site is looking good. Um, the only thing left to do really is to start setting it up so that we can monetize it. And we're going to want to put, you know, Amazon stuff here, uh, AdSense ads, whatever we can, ClickBank products, video game consoles and accessories. And I'm just going to see what is doing well. So different controllers are doing well. Um, this headset is doing well. So I'm going to go and try and find some links for some of this stuff. So I'm basically going to go into my Amazon account now and search for that. So it'll basically spit out a code that you can copy and paste onto your website 
So I recommend coming under your appearance and under widgets and on your sidebar, throw in a text widget and make sure you select text so that it can accept code. Visual is going to be like typing and then text over here is going to be like code. And then you can paste your Amazon code right here. Okay, and I'm going to delete the other stuff that is there. Recent posts are okay, but uh, recent comments, archives, categories, meta, all that stuff's got to go. The search bar can stay. All right, so there it is on the sidebar, and we can put more there as well. All right, so I went ahead and I put that in as well. And we could play around with the alignment of this stuff so it looked better, but... For the purpose of demonstration, you can kind of see what we're doing here. All right, so we have this header sidebar, which shows a widget in the header just above the main navigation menu. So I'm guessing that's up here somewhere. So I can go into AdSense and I can go to Auto Ads and I can hit Get Started. And I can choose what kind of ads I want and leave them all turned on. And all I gotta do is copy and paste this code onto my site. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is how you set up an auto blog to get yourself free traffic, and that is how you would monetize it to actually go and make you money passively. You can see it didn't take that long throughout this video, even while I was teaching you how to do it, to set this up. We set it up quickly. So imagine if you had a bunch of these working for you, 10, 15, 20 of these sites working for you on autopilot passively, earning you money through Amazon, AdSense, through ClickBank, through all these different income streams. There's a lot of potential. So if you thought this video was helpful and you liked it, don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I do step-by-step -step tutorials like this all the time. And if you have notifications turned on, you'll get notified of every new video I release when I release it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you next time. I am Paul James. Peace out. you